You can build the best app in the world, but if anybody can't find it on the app store, it doesn't matter. Today I'm gonna walk you through my exact app store optimization process, the keyword research I do before even writing a line of code, how to validate your app ideas and how to use the keywords that you're finding through the research. If you're new here, I am Daniel, an indie iOS developer and I have built over 33 apps in the last 8 months that generated over 1.7k in app store revenue. Moving on to what is ASO and why is it important? ASO stands for App Store optimization so i will call it like that and is the way how the users are finding your app through the app store when you're looking for an app that helps you track your gym sets and reps you are searching for a workout tracker so as you can see these are normal keywords that people are using to find your app it's like seo for websites that helps websites rank higher in the search engines if your app targets low competition keywords but that are not that popular enough your app will sink to the bottom of the searches and won't have any downloads anyways aso isn't a one-time thing because i have an application called swipe soup and it targeted the photo cleaner keyword but after a couple of weeks it started losing positions on that keyword and it was like 200 on that keyword after changing the so strategy i picked another main keyword and the app was ranking on the place 104 for that keyword and after i targeted him in the app title it jumped straight to 60 so as you can see if your app is losing positions you'd better change the so strategy but to do your keyword research you also need a tool and i am using astro which is the cheapest tool you can find on the market if you're using my affiliate link from the description alongside with that discount code you're also helping me and you also get 30% off of your first year using Astro. Before showing you my exact keyword research process, a quick word from today's video sponsor, Akiflow. As an indie dev, I'm constantly juggling tasks across multiple tools, emails from users, feature ideas in my notes app, and random to do scattered everywhere. Akiflow basically pulls all of that chaos into one place. The core idea is simple. It connects to whatever productivity apps you are already using and brings everything into a unified calendar view. So instead of checking five different apps to figure out what I should be working on, I can see my entire day blocked out in one place. Here is what actually makes it useful. The two-way sync means that when I mark something done in Akiflow, it updates back in the original app where the task came from. No manual syncing, no duplicated work. One feature I use constantly is treating emails as tasks. When a user sends a bug report, I can drag it straight from my inbox onto my calendar view for tomorrow afternoon, or simply use their AI to schedule it for tomorrow. The AI assistant called Aki lets you basically tell it how to schedule your upcoming days. So instead of manually dragging tasks around, you can describe what you want and it handles the scheduling for you. The biggest thing for me though, it gives you an honest view of your capacity. When you can see everything you have committed to in one calendar, you stop over committing and start shipping more constantly. They have a free trial, so there is a link in the description. Sign up on their site first, then you can use it across all your devices, including mobile. Okay, right now I am in Astro, and as you can see, these are the keywords I'm ranking for, and I also have other keywords, but these are the best ones. Astro didn't update my app title here, because as I'm targeting this as the main keyword, I'm using it in the app title, so my app is right now Plant Tracker, leafy not plant finder but it doesn't matter and before that it was plant finder so as you can see at this moment is ranking on the place 84 and let's see it was on place 32 and suddenly it dropped in rankings it was volatile and i decided to change the strategy then i came up with this keyword plant tracker and as you can see it's very good it's ranking on the 17th place so let's click on it and as you can see before targeting it it was at the rock bottom and after i started targeting it it landed on the 17th place i'm also ranking for sick plant app and let's see how it does here again rock bottom and after a couple of months it's starting picking some positions now if i want to find more keywords that my competitors are targeting and to see if they are good enough i'm clicking on the apps here and this button helps us seeing the keywords that this app is ranking for as you can see it ranks for 12,000 keywords but a good aso strategy i'm using is to have a popularity over 20 and a difficult 
difficulty below 60 and basically this means that the keyword is popular enough to be searched on the app store by users and the difficulty is that it still plays for your app to rank higher in the search results and now we are going through this list and see what keywords are related to plant finder plant identification and stuff like that so let's go down here and i don't recommend you targeting keywords like what plant is this for example because if i'm not wrong this is an app so i don't recommend targeting other app names like it will be weird to target planta because if people are searching for planta in the app store they will search for this app not for my app anyway let's go down here okay so i found a keyword so oh two keywords so we have plant identify plant identification let's see if there are other good keywords here plant a doctor maybe i don't know if it's an app called like that here we have the identify plants we can also put the identify flowers okay so i couldn't find any other keywords so to add that keyword into the list we'll simply add selected this button and as you can see my app doesn't even ranking for these keywords but the thing is that i can change my so strategy and choose one of these keywords and start targeting it as the main keyword for example, plant identification has a popularity of over 40 and the difficulty is 55. It's a good keyword, but let's compare it with mine, which is a popularity of 30 and a difficulty of 61, which is not that good, but I'm surprised that I'm in the place 17 for that keyword so using the plant identification keyword might be a better choice also if you have your own keyword ideas you can go here in add keywords and enter keywords and separate them with comma let's say plant um i don't know plant identifier i don't know think is here yeah a plant identifier and this keyword is not that good because it's very hard to rank into the search results because the difficulty is 74 so you'd better avoid it also when you're searching for competitor apps to see their keywords you'd better also look at the rating count and the average rating because let's say if the app has a lot of bad reviews and stuff like that it should not rank that higher now let's move on to another keyword which is a workout tracker and to add a competitor app you can click this button add app and search for that keyword so let's say workout tracker and let's see what app do we have here you can also add a temporary app like it's an empty app that doesn't exist on the app store and do your keyword research there or you can simply search for the workout tracker and click on this plus button and you are adding the competitor into your app list and let's say this app gym log and click on this plus button and now we can click on found suggestions and apply the same filter with 20 and 60. now let's scroll through the list and let's see if we can find some good keywords so we have work log weights i think it's a good keyword weight gain app mm, nah it's not a good keyword because we are looking for workout related stuff so let's scroll down more stronger could be a good keyword i think let's also add push up counter push press um pumping tracker maybe goals fitness maybe bench app and i think is the last keyword yeah click on add selected so as you can see it's ranking on the second place for these two keywords weights and stronger a very good keyword here is this bench app because a popularity of 51 means that it's very in demand in the app store because a lot of people are searching for it and the difficulty is low so you can rank higher for this keyword very easily and let's see what other apps are ranking for this keyword so bench app sports team manager bench lifestyle and which is a loyalty app but the third app that is ranking for this keyword is a weightlifting planner app so it's in the same area as the strong workout tracker these three keywords are also good but except in this pumping tracker because it's related to feeding the baby with milk and it doesn't fit in the sports stuff so it can be deleted from here and let's do one more keyword research for a language learning app so add temporary app 
to see how this works. You can rename it, let's say language learning and you can add keywords. So let's remove this and let's say language learning, learn languages, learn English, learn, mm, let's let these three. Okay, as you can see, they are popular enough, but they are very, very hard to rank into. And as you can see, Duolingo is the first app for these three keywords. Let's see what other keywords Duolingo is ranking for. Okay, so it's ranking for other 20k keywords, but let's take the ones with a popularity over 30 because we need some keywords that are good enough to be searched. So in this high interest niche, we need good keywords that are popular enough for people to search it. So let's scroll down to see if there are any English keywords, first of all, because these are not in English. You can also use this search for suggestions. So let's say learn, maybe it helps a lot. Learning, learn Chinese. It can be because it's a language learning app. It's not only for English. Okay, so I could find only one keyword, so I will add it here. Let's search for other competitors. So language learning, let's use this one, hello talk. Yes. Let's see what keywords it's targeting. Maybe language exchange, Korean dictionary, Japanese dictionary, Japan. Okay, so I couldn't find any other keywords, so add these four. And as you can see, the Duolingo app doesn't even target them. Let's search for, I don't know, learn German, learn French, learn Romanian. Let's see. Okay, Duolingo is ranking for these ones. So if you are saying learn and a specific language, maybe if it's a popular language, it will be a good keyword like learn German. Its popularity is 30, which is good. And the difficulty is below 60, which is great. And Duolingo is ranking for this. And let's see what other apps are ranking. So Babel Language Learning is ranking for this. Uh, Busu. Okay, so we don't have only German only apps here. We have multi language apps. Anyways, now that we know that is room for another app into this niche, we need to also check the niche if it's profitable enough to build that app into it. For that, I'm using Sensor Tower, and don't worry, this one has a generous free plan and it resets every day, so you can search up to a couple of apps every single day. And on Sensor Tower, we need to look for apps that are generating over 5k revenue, so let me check that out. Okay, so I am on Sensor Tower, and the first niche we are looking for is Plant Finder, Plant Identification, and stuff like that. So let's say Plant Finder. The first apps that are appearing here are not that wow. So let's say plant ident identifier. Okay, so the things changed here because the plant identifier keywords, uh, apps that are targeting the plant identifier keyword are doing great. So picture this is generating 5 million per month. Let's move on to plant in, which is generating 1 million per month. And plant identifier and care app, it doesn't even have an app name. It's generating over 300k per month. Okay, so moving on to the workout tracker. Let's say workout tracker. Here we have the strong workout tracker gym log app that we used earlier to do the research and it's generating over 500k per month. We are having this heavy app which is generating over 400k per month and let's say this one that is smaller and is generating 40k these two niches are valid and the language learning is also a big niche so these are generating who 2 million 500k what is duolingo oh, okay i will search direct for Duolingo. duolingo oh no i reached the request limit for this plan but if i'm not wrong duolingo generates over 10 million dollars per month okay so i am on my app store page for my plant tracker leafy that we talked in the beginning of the video and as you can see the main keyword i am using is plant tracker and then is the app name and i'm doing this because nobody knows my app 
and they are searching for the plant tracker and if they are searching for this plant tracker my app can appear in the search results nobody will search for leafy and as you can see here i am targeting also sick plant app and i added it in the subtitle if you are using more keywords into your app name subtitle description and screenshots the chances are that you will rank higher in those keywords another good thing to do is to also include the keywords into your app description and as you can see my app is based on plants so i am using this keyword into the description a lot of times you can also use other keywords that you found on astro and include them into your app description and another good thing to do is to also add them into the app store screenshots so as you can see here i have this keyword sick plant on astro i found that sick plant app is a good keyword let's see other keyword plant tracker which is the main keyword and not all of the screenshots must include a keyword but you should have a couple of them to give the app store algorithm some context about what is your app because in this summer the app store algorithm changed and it's reading the keywords from the screenshots too so if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to not miss future videos and until next time make sure that you eat your veggies and ship fast mm -hmm.